name is Dr. Joanne Bowie, and I'm the director here. And I think I'm going on 22 years here, which is sort of thrilling. Spirit is our duty as music therapists and healthcare clinicians to integrate this knowledge into our everyday work. Shall I read the next one? No. <laughs> <laughs> And indeed, I guess my presence here really is my involvement in music and technology going way back. And I have had the very good fortune of being involved with the company in, in Pandora, which has made a bit of noise, so to speak. Right. So the fact that this, you know, makes... is balanced with this. Now the bass descends by step, which we can follow with our minds. on this, music therapists must feel comfortable in using technology themselves in practice. But the current discourses on gender and technology suggest that gender may contribute to the comfort factor. That if we took out all those kind of sonic elements, it would be this beautiful narrative of a person trying to work through their the meaning of their rehabilitation and the meaning of their stay. And that element was added specifically for a particular reason of how he moved through rehabilitation and the energy he needed to go home. I think probably I could sum up the entire presentation that I'm going to give today in a, a quote that was here, that was said by Todd earlier. And here's the quote. <laughs> that's the quote. <laughs> because that's what I'm going to talk about, is that amazing thing that happens when you have an instrument that you can stay with, it's simple, that you can explore, and, and explore it in such a way that it, you find that sound mark. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric, where life it means forever, and that's a mighty long time. Baby, don't you cry. So the look on her face even when she was recording this, she started to feel more comfortable, more at home. And knowing that this was going somewhere, it was actually going to travel from the hospital back to her home, was so important to her. Um, I consider the recording process a natural extension of the therapeutic work. Throughout the process, as therapists, we must remain true to the feelings that the client wishes to express and to involve the client actively at all times. Lullabies are meaningful um, or significant to the family um, or through reading stories and poetry or nursery rhymes and even simply just speaking to the infant um, conveying their love and encouragement and hope while the music, therapy provide, uh, music therapist provides a, uh, a musical containment it's inherently Using things like what we call song of kin or highly significant music for patients is the place to start off the process. Every single patient, the first intervention that they receive when they come in for uh, radiation treatment is music therapy, something we're quite proud of. Walking up to the units before okay. meeting some patients who are probably okay. watching right now, I'm going to give a shout out to some people in a minute. Okay, okay. And they've actually, they let me record some of their ideas for today's speech. Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm saying tap a steady beat on the C chord, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing the song, right? And when I get to the word that the, that the, that the changes to the F, you've got to keep, you just move to the F. I have a semi-auditory system, so it might be at some point better than most technical systems that just try to analyze frequency 
So we have a system that analyzes something similar to human pitch. By the way, we have the yin model. We replace that with a polyphonic pitch detector based on a lick lighter model, where you really look at the different frequencies on the basilar membrane. You do an autocorrelation, and then you can track multiple pitches. It's not 100% accurate, but neither is our auditory system. Yeah, keep going. Thank you. 